everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is definitely not the video that was supposed to be going up today, but I had this overwhelming feeling of filming this video. I felt very inspired all of a sudden. I had a number of deliveries come in and evidently clothing inspires me quite a lot because I was literally like, oh my God, I can film this video. I can film that video. Oh my God. <laughs> so today's video was put on hold and I'm actually just frantically filming another video now. Don't ask me why I do this to myself. I have no idea. But as mentioned in a previous video, I am going to be doing seasonal edits of my favourite wardrobe essentials. So I've put together five items that I think are essential to my autumn wardrobe. I was going to do autumn winter, but I realised there is still quite a distinct difference between an autumn wardrobe and a winter wardrobe. So I decided to keep it separate and that meant that I had to leave the over the knee boots until winter, but that's absolutely fine. I feel very excited about this video and filming more videos, so if I seem slightly hyper, that's probably why. <laughs> As usual, I will have linked all of the items featured in the description box below, so if you wanted to pick anything up, you'll find it down there, and if I haven't been able to find the original, I will link some variations if I can find them. Also down there, you will find my social media links, so if you wanted to come and follow me anywhere else at all, if you can handle much more of me, they are down there, and there's also the subscribe button, which I've now actually tried to say about five times. Saying subscribe is quite difficult. I struggle with it, so I'm constantly like, it's really annoying. But if you want to hit the subscribe button, it's down there. Without any more rambling, let's get into this autumn edit of my wardrobe essentials. First up, I've got my Chelsea boots, which are from Saint Laurent, and I actually bought these well over a year ago now, and they are my essential footwear when it comes to this time of year. They go with pretty much everything, especially black denim or leather trousers. You will have seen me wearing a lot of these with my leather trousers because I just love how they elongate my legs when you just have that sort of like all in one look. Now these have lasted so well. They have a few scuffs on the toes where I've fallen up the stairs on the underground. If anyone ever sees me do that, please just shake your head at me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> But you can obviously get Chelsea boots from a number of places on the high street as well as different stores online and I did decide that I wanted to spend a little bit more on this pair. I've had loads of Chelsea boots in the past and they've not really lasted that well. So I thought rather than spending money each season I would buy a pair that will stand the test of time and these have been such a great item in my wardrobe. They've not even worn on the heel. I tend to slightly walk on the outside of my heel so you can see how they like slant down. A lot of my shoes do actually slant down. On these, you don't see that at all, and I've worn them walking around London, I've worn them absolutely everywhere, so these have been a really good purchase. They retail for about £500 to £600, I think, on net -Port at the moment. Um, I will have linked them down below. So if you are looking to buy yourself a pair of quite smart and durable, long-lasting, and that look great boots, if that makes sense, any sense at all, then I definitely think that these are worth the money. There is also actually a pair of Le Bouton Chelsea boots that I've seen online, which I'll also link down below because they look beautiful. If ever these break, I think I'll get the Le Bouton ones, which I'm hoping are more comfortable than their heels, that's for sure. So first and foremost has to be my Saint Laurent boots. My next autumn wardrobe essential is this black roll neck, and I'm sorry if you can see loads of stuff on it. Black tends to show up really badly on my camera, and you can see all the speckles, and I've not really bothered to defluff this. So if you can see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think a black roll neck is an absolute essential in your autumn winter wardrobe as standard, but this one is cashmere. I have very sensitive skin and I didn't realise how sensitive it was until I bought this last year and I've just noticed such a difference in my skin. My skin doesn't get as like red raw as it used to get because I do find that wools and things like that do tend to sort of irritate my skin in the winter, especially when it's very close to it. So I do try my best to stock up on cashmere jumpers. Now, cashmere is rather expensive and for basics, not everyone wants to spend that much. I totally get that. Me personally, I see the benefits of it with my skin and just how comfortable I am, especially when I'm here, there and everywhere, I want to be as comfortable as possible. I have found some quite low price point cashmere jumpers though on the high street. I think M&S is the cheapest and then John Lewis follows quite close behind. These were £75 from John Lewis and um, I just didn't get the Marks and Spencers one because they sell out so quickly. So this year I decided to stock up quite early. So I've got some crew neck jumpers coming in sort of fairly neutral tones and a few more roll necks because trust me they sell out so fast because they do wear so well. They last so long, they're so comfortable 
and just for layering and keeping warm, they're brilliant. So my autumn wardrobe is not complete without these. You will see me wearing these so much over the next few weeks. I've also got the crew neck version, which I actually just pulled out of the wash basket. So if you can see any stains on it, I'm sorry. But this is just the crew neck version from John Lewis. And again, you will have seen me actually wearing this quite a lot in my hauls recently because I just pop it under coats because it's really comfortable. Um, again, it's got quite a few bobbles on it, so I probably need to get my debobbler out. That's a funny word to say, debobbler. <laughs> oh God, I tickle myself with these words that make me laugh. <laughs> There are a number of different styles. So there's like V-necks and cardigans and long line cardigans. So there's kind of a style for everyone, but you do need to get in there fast because they sell out quite quickly. Next up, uh, we have my favorite item in this haul. This is a Burberry Sherling Gilet and it's got gold hardware and a very big thick collar that stands up and just looks very, very cool. I'm actually usually one of those people that's cold all the time, so I rarely get hot. However, on the underground and places like that, it can get a little bit stuffy, so it's nice to be able to sort of peel off some layers and cool down a bit before you go outside, because there's nothing worse than going outside when you've been like sweating or whatever and then it's freezing cold because yeah it's just it's horrible it's the worst so layering really is key in autumn and this is great for sticking over jackets or jumpers just to give you that little bit more warmth now this is a little bit more of a statement one but this is what i've wanted in my wardrobe for a very very long time i bought a whistles one last season and it just i didn't love it that much i think i wanted more of a biker style so my whistles one is for sale on my depot but that's down below if you want it. <laughs> what I love about this the most is that it's kind of in this biker style, but it's got the gold hardware. So it is a little bit smarter and you do feel quite put together when you put this on. I intend to wear this with black jeans and Chelsea boots and kind of a statement bag of some sorts. But this really is my favorite item in this collection because it's just beautiful, such a beautiful item. And no one really does outerwear like Burberry. They just nail it. They nail it so well. All of the little touches, like the big gold, zips and stuff like that they just nail it so yeah this is my favorite next up in my autumn edit is this pair of page denim jeans and i think that black denim is really really key in your autumn wardrobe i like to take my denim really dark and maybe sometimes a little bit grungy this is a coated pair of jeans and high waist High waist is what I want in winter because you've got so many layers on, so many jumpers. It's nice to sort of show off your waist a little bit because it can get lost under all of the sort of layers and jumpers and cable knits and God knows what else. So I do like to go for a high-waisted denim in autumn. I'm on the hunt for a pair that aren't coated. I do want just a plain black pair. So um, I will be sort of searching those out very soon. But dark denim does seem to go really well with more autumnal tones. I absolutely love the way that creams look with black and then also those quite earthy tones like the tans and things like that. Khakis as well, khakis look nice. So I live in black jeans in winter. In fact, in summer I was like, I really wanna wear black jeans, but it's just totally not not like what you wear in summer. It is definitely all about the black when it hits the colder months. And then the final item in my autumn edit is this jumpsuit from Self Portrait. Oh, hairs as usual. I wore this last night to the CEW Awards and um, I bought this last minute in Selfridges and I didn't realize how thick it was. So it was perfect because it was freezing last night and it made me realize just how much of a godsend jumpsuits are when it gets colder. I felt really put together, but I didn't feel cold and it was just, re I just really appreciated it. I think that's the main thing. And I think as the festive season that sets in, you will see a lot of these making their way into my wardrobe. It's got this sort of pinafore style, but it's also got this beautiful embossing on the trousers and then the trousers flick out at the end. There's sort of a slight flare and it just makes your ankles look really, really nice as well. I don't know how you make ankles look nice, but this play suit, it just, it makes it happen. <laughs> I think that Self Portrait is one of the most beautiful dress brands that's available at the moment. And they're also on more of the affordable side of things. They are still a few hundred pounds, but if you want a really special dress with a lot of detail, they're great to go for. The only thing is nowadays they're gaining a lot more popularity. So you do run the risk of seeing numerous people on nights out or at events wearing one of their dresses. What I haven't seen 
is people wearing their jumpsuits. So I think it kind of takes the limelight off the dresses and just shows what other items you can expect to see in a self-portrait collection. As I said, I wore this last night to the CEW Awards, but I may also wear this to the Influencer Awards with Cosmo on Thursday. I'm not, I'm not decided yet, um, but I just want to get the wear out of it because it's so beautiful. And I also think that you could wear this during the day as well because it is smart, but if you put some flat shoes with it, it'd look amazing. So this is a really nice way to dress up, but not feel absolutely freezing when it gets colder. So that is it for the autumn edit of my wardrobe essentials. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video and there are some items that you would like to have in your own autumn wardrobe. Wardrobe. Please let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it as well. As I mentioned previously, if you wanted to pick anything up, it's all linked down below with all of my social media links and also the subscribe button. But that's it from me. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!